Hi everyone and welcome to the bench. I have Ray from Grizzly Hackle. Hi. Thanks for coming over and you're gonna tie us a Super X. Super X today. Yeah. I see it's got a whole bunch of neat ingredients, so why don't we tell everybody what we're gonna use? Okay. We'll start with a uh, I use a TMC uh, size 10. Okay. Uh, standard dry fly hook. Uh, fine rubber legs. Great. Crystal flash, a little bit of sparkle. Black closed cell foam. Grizzly hackle and deer hair. Okay, we're going to use some uh, six aught flat wax nylon thread. Okay. Get a good start. I always try to cover the thread, the hook with thread. Okay. Get a good base built up. Yeah, it keeps everything from slipping around. Okay, we're going to put a little, uh, a little bit of color flash, crystal flash on the bottom. I tie it down the full length so that we get a level underbody. This should be uh, fairly short, just about the gape of the hook, about uh, three hook eye lengths back from the front of the hook. Hang your thread, okay. take a piece of foam and allow it to extend, it's hard for you to see I think, but allow it to extend beyond the eye of the hook. Okay. Get a good solid tie down there and then bring your thread back. I'll open up here and let you see it here in just a second. Bring your thread back so that you have a bit of an ant body there. Oh, okay. okay. Take some regular, uh, I like gray deer hair on this one. Okay. Deer hair or elk, do you prefer any Elk hair is a, I prefer, I prefer deer. Uh, I use deer for almost everything. Okay. Um, it's available in all the same colors that elk hair is. All right. Now, it's a little difficult to see, but we want to extend this just slightly beyond the bend of the hook. Okay. What I do is hold the wingtips down and bring my thread forward into the butts. Okay. Gives me much more tie down area and my wing won't roll. Cover the butts up with thread. Now we'll put our uh, rubber legs on. Three on each side on this size. If you tied a smaller one, you would maybe drop one leg off. Okay, any particular color you like, the black over the white? I like black. Uh, a lot of people will tell you white's better. Um, black puts a dark profile on the surface. Works for me. Yeah. Um, I like the, the front legs a little bit shorter than the back, so I'll tie, uh, get, take a couple of loose wraps here. Same exact thing on the other side. The last step now is uh, to hackle the bug. Okay. And very simple and straightforward. Get your hackle stem tied on there tight. Uh, and run plenty of hackle here. And now I see you're using a grizzly hackle. A grizzly Again, hackle. any color preferences? Grizzly is variegated, gives me a broken up profile. Uh, gives the appearance of legs, thorax. Three wraps on the the hackle stem. Snip it off. And roll your head back. Make sure the front of the, the hook is covered with thread and do a whip finish right there on the, on the head. Ah, the finger whip finish. <laughs> I, uh, I tie flies commercially and I don't have, the fewer tools I pick up, the better off I am. <laughs> Take it out of the vise, turn it over so you can see what you're doing, and trim it so that the front is just beyond the hook bend. Knock the corners off, the back. I like an elongated body, more of a grasshopper style body. And then clip the point. Well, Ray, thanks a lot. You're welcome. In a pleasure. I know that's kind of a hidden fly. You don't show too many people. It's uh, it's not my own creation, but it's uh, well, the it's world, not very well known. The world's going to know. <laughs> that's all right. So why don't we pack up this uh, fly tying stuff and catch some more of those nice cutties. I'm ready. All Let's right. do it. Let's go. Okay.